What's going on my little e-heads? How's everyone doing? That guy just ran a red. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't you can't celebrate loophole culture in a car? Tight. Oh, sorry, sidetracked. Um this video, oh guys, let me tell wait, 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 wait. First updates. First, we got some updates. Any do you notice any differences? Do you notice anything in quality? Anything in smooth smoothness? We're recording on a GoPro Hero 8 Black. Yep. We did it. We're here. We got the mic adapter, we got all this crazy crap. We're four hundred dollars more broke in the hole and we got a gopro now and we can ride at night and also i got an email from super 73 and they are giving me the v3 motor it doesn't they're not available until the first week of august i was told but i am on the list but today's video today's video might just blow open the whole Hubgate scandal. Tom Santon, I believe his name is. Tom Sanders. Tom has a, has a video. What is Lens Law? Oh, what is Lens Law? That's the clickbait right there. Here, let me let me let me make sure I got this right here. First of all, shout out to Nobleman369 for leaving this comment. Bro, watch this video. Approximately 6 minutes and 17 seconds in, the guy explains how aluminum interferes with the magnetic field, which causes the motor to skip and making that terrible noise. I hope this helps. Dude, it does help. I watched the video, and oh boy, have I been in a, in a, a loop. I have been doing nothing but studying lens law since I saw this. Watch Tom Stanton's video about building an electric bike. He builds a couple iterations, right? He builds a couple iterations, and one of them fails because he puts an, a custom-made machined aluminum bracket too close to a hobby hub motor. Different brand motor, but a hub motor nonetheless. And it makes the same exact noise. But then I was having motor issues. It seemed it wasn't possible to run the motor so close to the aluminium mount. And yes, aluminium isn't magnetic. But if I drop this magnet down this aluminium tube, you can see there is clearly some resistance. I won't go into detail how it works, but it was causing so much resistance on the motor that the motor lost sync with the speed controller and for a short period tried spinning the wrong way causing the belt to skip and make that horrible noise. So they're recalling these engines, motors, sorry. And they're, and you know, there's all this talk about planetary gears and clutches. I don't think, I'm starting to think that it's not that at all. Not a clutch issue. And these motors are actually not bad. Hear me out, hear me out guys. The motors are not bad. The frame is bad. These new frames are made out of aircraft aluminum. And maybe after they get a little old, or maybe the magnets in the motor, they get shifted a little bit. Maybe they just get a little too close to the edge. And then maybe when you're just under just a, the right amount of torque, the aluminum interferes with the, with the magnetic field of the hub motor. I'm no scientist. I think you guys are well aware of that. But I do have a lab where we do science experiments. So we're going to go there. You know where we're going. We're going to Lemon Grove. We got some theories. We got some crackpot theories. We're going to test them out. And we're going to break open Hubgate. We're going to blow it wide open. Oh man, it's another, it's that same sketchy ice cream, man. We're in a, we're on a different turf. Just both going to... My bad. Yeah, dude, it is your bad. Wrong way.
This guy again. You're in the wrong, uh, wrong turf, dude. I didn't need to skid on at all. I did that for the content, but Jesus, who does that? I mean, you guys saw me and your fellow bikers. <sighs> um, I should have just pinned it and went straight through him. Now you're being weird too, huh? No blinker. How have we not died yet? Just, just chock full of awkwardness today. Oh, got the GoPro. That was cool. You know, we got the we got the GoPro for the price of just one GoPro, minus the camera. I'm almost over that. Um, but yeah, this means we can shoot at night. I mean, we don't have headlights. We don't have proper taillights. It'd be dangerous AF uh, to, to, to ride at night, but we still might. Oh, this, that's where I gotta go, dude. All right, just, I mean, can we just make a video without a little bit of awkwardness? Let's just have a positivity video, huh? Uh, you got, you come for the e-bike content, but you stay for the positivity, right? And the life lessons. Here's a favorite little piss tunnel. So if, if I'm correct, and this lens law th theory of mine is actually the cause for all these issues, I don't know how Go, uh, Super 73 will fix it. Because I was, I was talking about maybe putting a mid-drive on this thing, just for goofs, and I don't, I think that would make the same noise. Due to the aluminum field. Maybe not. So, I mean, the only cure for that, I would think, would be to just create a whole new swing arm out of a different material. And then they'd have to ship everybody a swing arm. You could probably, you could probably salvage the V1 motors. They're probably fine. But they're just aluminum. There's just an aluminum frame. So... They'd have to either ship them all back to the headquarters to have the, the fork arm, the, the swing arm removed and replaced with, with I don't even know what. Or, I mean, they, I don't know, they could just ship you a, ship you a swing arm and a hub in the mail and then give you some kind of voucher at an e-bike mechanic, I don't know. I don't know, but I uh, just mark my words. I have my skeptic skepticism about these uh, about these V3 motors. No one has them yet. Hubgate, get that trending. Hubgate. Yep. It's like this. It's like no one likes this table or something. Okay. In this today's video, science, science experiments. I have one cube of aluminum foil i was gonna buy an a, a, like a cube of aluminum on uh on amazon but they were literally 50 bucks so we're gonna use that that is made out of aluminum and this white claw can is made out of aluminum so what we're gonna do is zip tie this aluminum stuff very close to the motor and see if it interferes i i have no idea what i'm doing guys now we've been riding you know we just did like a mile or two didn't hear the noise once what is lens law Of any currents 
So, side one. Hmm. I didn't really notice that there's not a lot of... Oh, maybe I could just zip tie it to the... I kind of want to put it right there. We're just experimenting, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I have trash. I'm out here with trash and zip ties. Like, come on. Click that like button. Okay, aluminum. Aluminum cube. Zip tied as close to the engine as we can. Hmm. That's not how I planned it. This can. Uh, should we try both on one side? Let's just let's just put a bunch of aluminum on one side of this bike. <laughs> wow, this is I can't believe this. This is pretty dumb, huh? It's not even gonna do anything. Let's put it in here. Mmm, very dumb. This is not what I thought it would look. <laughs> I don't know about this. I didn't think this would be this stupid. And I didn't bring anything to snip. I didn't bring anything to snip those ties with. Oh, which means I can't even get them off. Which means I have to ride home with them. Wow, what a fool. Okay, lens law, experiment one. Altering the magnetic field. Wow, you hear my bike? Huh. Nothing. Ooh, random backpack. Backpack for no reason. Hmm. Failed. Failed video. Might have to be under a certain, a correct amount of torque. Well, I mean, maybe I fixed it. Maybe it needs more aluminum. I don't know, scientists chime in. All my scientist viewers, chime in on this one. What is going on? I, see, I swear these ice cream men, they follow me around. There, well, it, it did it there before. There are certain spots where it does it all the time. Certain geolocations where it does it all the time. And also my controller dies every time I go up this hill. Okay, when I planned this out in my head, 
it didn't look like this. Oh, all you had to do was be a He-Man. I didn't know that. Let's try and spin the motor and just hold the hold this aluminum close to it. I wonder what this di disc brake is made out of. What, you're just here forever now, Can? Do you guys like this look? Let's put the kickstand down. That doesn't seem like that's as fast as it normally goes. 35. Oh, for anyone that's interested, if you weigh zero pounds, this bike goes 35 miles an hour. Why is there a Ferrari in my neighborhood? Are you lost, sir? Why are you parking? Uh... Goodbye? Who are you? Okay. I may need like a sheet of aluminum. Guys, just bear with me, okay? I'm telling you. White Claw can. Fail. <sighs> Complete fail. <sighs> Someone help me out here, man. I can't sleep. I stay awake at night thinking about Lens Law. Let me know down in the comments if there's any sort of truth to this theory of mine and what's a better way to test it. Also, if anyone knows where there's an oval track anywhere in the Los Angeles area, whether it's uh, an oval race track or even like a track and field kind of track, let me know. I've got an idea for a future video. I hope the technicians at Super 73 are at least aware of the possibility of it being Lens Law. That's the video for, for now, guys. Shout out to Tom Stanton and his helpful video, and shout out to Nobleman for putting this little seed in my head. Shout out to everyone that was super cool at the Eastgate LA meetup. Shout out to all four of my e bike Shout out to all four of my e-bike friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to throw this away, I swear. Here, stay, stay tuned. Make sure that you know that I throw this away. In the recycling. Alright, that's the video. Have a good one, guys.